Hello, hello, writers. I'm Kristen Kiefer, author of fantasy fiction and creative writing resources, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast, where I share insights, encouragement, and actionable advice designed to help you craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, always in 30 minutes or less, so you can get back to writing, of course. Ready for the show? Let's get talking. Hello again, writers. My name is Kristen Kiefer, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast. Today is Wednesday, February 20th, 2019, and today's episode is entitled How to Craft Static Character Arcs for Your Novel. If you'd like to read the article that corresponds with today's episode, simply visit www.well-storied.com static. Now let's dive in. We often think of character arcs, which map a character's internal journey over the course of a story, as being transformative in nature. A character either overcomes a core fear or flaw to become a better person, or succumbs to it, falling victim to their darkest doubts, fears, or desires. But what about those characters who don't experience an internal transformation? Do they lack the development needed to make their stories richly compelling? Not in the least. Or rather, not necessarily. In addition to the positive and negative change arcs we've already discussed in separate episodes of the podcast, there's a third and final type of character arc worth exploring, the static arc. Let's examine the static character arc together. Where positive and negative change arcs explore a character's internal transformation, static arcs, also known as flat arcs, map a character's fight to hold true to their values in the face of great temptation. The character's success in this endeavor enables them to transform the world around them rather than their inner world. A character who experiences a static arc is largely the same person at the end of their journey as they were when it began. From the very first page, they carry with them a strong sense of identity and personal belief. However, the strength of their conviction doesn't negate the immense struggle they'll face as their journey pushes them toward their breaking point. Because they map the journeys of characters who overcome temptation to change the world for the better, Most static arcs follow warriors, detectives, adventurers, and other characters well-positioned to fight injustice and protect those in danger. The first step in developing an effective static arc is to define the sense of identity and personal belief on which the entirety of your character's arc will hinge. Try to boil down this key characterization element into a single statement, if possible. Example 1. Indiana Jones is an archaeologist and adventurer who seeks to protect ancient artifacts from authoritarian powers. Example 2. Sherlock Holmes is a highly observant consulting detective who seeks to outwit Britain's cleverest criminals. Where positive and negative change arcs most often follow the journey of a character who either overcomes or succumbs to an ultimate lie they believe, Static arcs instead map the journey of a character fighting to hold fast to an established truth. Thus, defining your character's truth becomes the next step in developing your static arc. Example 1. Indiana Jones' truth is that the world's most precious ancient artifacts must be protected. Example 2. Sherlock Holmes' truth is that only he is smart enough to bring such clever criminals to justice. With this truth in hand, you can now consider how you might tempt your character to forsake this truth during the course of your arc. In a moment, I'll break down the story beats, that is, key moments, that comprise the general series of trials and tribulations your character will experience in their static arc. However, you might find it helpful to first answer the following questions. Who or what will seek to undermine your character's truth? whether or not they do so intentionally. What lie does this antagonist or antagonistic force want your character to believe? How does your antagonist or antagonistic force benefit from believing or encouraging others to believe this lie? 
What conflict might the antagonist or antagonistic force bring about in an effort to undermine your character's truth? What's at stake if your character refuses to accept the lie? If they do choose to believe it? What devastating event or realization might hold the power to push your character to their breaking point? If you need help answering any of these questions, I've linked to articles and episodes on related topics in today's episode transcript at well-storied.com static. Mapping the beats of a static character arc. Having established the elements at the heart of a static character arc, you can now begin mapping the major beats that will define your character's journey. Though the term beat typically refers to a single scene or moment in your story, I've also used it here to denote a series of related scenes that follow a similar pattern. Beat number one, the hook. The first beat in a static arc introduces your character in their everyday environment. That is, before they become entangled in the arc's core conflict. Depending on your story, this moment will either show how your character's world accepts their truth, or rejects it in favor of a lie your character refuses to believe. Beat number two, the inciting incident. Shortly after the hook, an unexpected event turns your character's world upside down, often threatening your character's truth or bringing the temptation of the antagonist lie to light. Taken off guard, your character might try to ignore or flee from the dangers of this event. Beat number three, the first plot point. Try as they might, your character can't escape the consequences posed by the inciting incident. After a second, unexpected event further establishes the antagonist's power, your character is forced to not only accept the reality of the inciting incident, but to pursue a goal defined by the need to preserve their truth or resist the temptation of the lie. Beat number four, a series of unsettling conflicts. Your arc's core conflict is now underway as your character sets out on a journey to achieve their goal. But because they were ultimately forced into this journey by the antagonist's actions, your character may lack the information or skill set they need to effectively combat the series of obstacles thrown their way. They cling to their truth, fighting to survive the dangers of the antagonist's lie. As if that weren't trial enough, your character also finds themselves surrounded by people who doubt the power of their truth. With a lack of resources and few supporters by their side, your character struggles to find their footing in a fight they cannot afford to lose. Beat number five, the midpoint. Thus far, your character has been an underdog, fighting to achieve a goal that few believe attainable in the face of the antagonist's lie. However, everything changes at your arc's midpoint, when a conflict occurs that your character could easily survive if they only accepted the lie as truth. Unwilling to give in, your character finds a way to survive the conflict without compromising their truth, often attaining the information or skill set they need along the way. While this event may empower your character, it also humbles them by reinforcing what's at stake if they fail to achieve their goal. Understanding this, they commit to actively combating the lie, willing to risk anything to overcome the antagonist but the truth they hold so dear. Seeing your characters succeed, others may join the fight. Beat number six, a series of empowering conflicts. Armed with new tools, motivation, and support, your character takes a far more active role in pursuing their goal in the second half of your arc, often engaging with the antagonist directly. As they chip away at the antagonist's power, your character begins to transform the world around them, often encouraging others to see and accept the truth for themselves. Beat number seven, the dark night of the soul. Just when it seems like all is going well, an unexpected event shatters your character's resolve, often harming your character or those they love. In the aftermath of this event, your character rages against what they believe to be the futility of their cause. 
What good is the truth if they can't protect against the antagonist's devastating power? Beat number eight, the third plot point. Thankfully, an event soon occurs that reignites your character's hope. Sometimes those that your character introduced to the truth now return the favor. Other times, your character sees and seizes one last opportunity to prevent the antagonist lie from claiming another victim. In either case, your character reaffirms their faith in the truth, rallies what energy and resources remain to them, and prepares for one final fight to achieve their goal despite the antagonist's lie. Beat number nine, the climactic sequence. At last, the final showdown between your character's truth and the antagonist's lie takes place. Though the antagonist strives to weaken your character's resolve yet again, your character stands firm in their truth, ultimately prevailing against the antagonist's lie once and for all. In most stories, this moment also sees your character fulfill their goal, as that goal most often relates to surviving the antagonist's power. Notably, this moment also sees some characters sacrifice their lives to ensure the antagonist's defeat. Beat number 10, Resolution. With their inner battle won and their world transformed, your character now turns their focus toward establishing a new everyday environment in which their truth prevails. In some cases, this requires your character to achieve their as yet unattained goal or to expunge the lie where its roots yet run deep. Most importantly, this final beat reaffirms the power of your character's truth and showcases how the truth has not only positively impacted your character's life, but the world in which they live. As Kayan Wyland explains in her detailed discussion of character arcs, your character might experience some measure of internal transformation throughout their journey. The significant conflict they've experienced is bound to have some mental, emotional, or spiritual effect. However, if their journey hinges on a truth they fight to maintain, then your character's arc remains static. For more information on developing static arcs, I highly recommend exploring K.M. Wyland's work linked in today's episode transcript at well-storied.com static. Wyland is truly the queen of character arcs, and I'm grateful for all I've learned from her material. To see a few successful static arcs in action, Wyland recommends exploring the following stories. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, True Grit by Charles Portis, The Last of the Mohicans by James Fenimore Cooper, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, DreamWorks Chicken Run, Ridley Scott's Gladiator, Marvel's Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins. To craft a few effective and compelling static arcs of your own, I encourage you to consume these and other stories that feature characters fighting to hold true to their beliefs in the face of great temptation. Understanding the many ways in which a static arc can manifest is incredibly helpful when determining how you might bring your own character's internal journey to life. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Podcast Writer. I hope you found it helpful to your writing journey. If so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode, and to give the podcast a quick rating and review. Doing so goes a long way toward helping the podcast reach new writers and lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating. You can also give me a shout out directly on Twitter at Kristen underscore Kiefer. For additional guidance as you work to craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, be sure to head on over to www.well-storied.com, where I share blog posts, workbooks, e-courses, and other helpful resources for writers. Again, that's w-e-l-l-s-t-o-r-i-e-d.com. Thank you again for tuning into today's episode, my friend. Until next time, happy writing!